even with just practicing Samchigo, we can go to heaven. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Blessed Mother. Nice to meet you. Let us sing together today. Semchigo, Semchigo. Semchigo, Semchigo. Chimedo, Semchigo. Nagedo, Semchigo. Semchigo, Semchigo. Tonagedo, Semchigo. Amen. 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 When we live with Samjigo in every action and thought, we can overcome all obstacles easily. When we sincerely live our lives with Samjigo, rather than merely uttering it with our lips, we can truly enjoy heaven. I believe that among the five spiritualities, even with just some chigo, we can go to heaven. Amen. And I also believe that among the messages of love, we can go to heaven even just by meditating well and practicing it on the message given on January 10, 1988, the Feast of Jesus' Baptism. Since the children in this world live their lives in so much wrongdoings, although Jesus and the Blessed Mother have repeatedly reminded them, yet they did not accept their words well. This is why Jesus and Mary have repeatedly manifested the most sublime and purest, immeasurable miracles of love in Naju, countless times continuously. 정말 저는 너무나 부족한 사람입니다. 저는 여러분 앞에 이렇게 앉을 수 있는 그런 삶이 아니라 정말 부끄러운 죄인일 뿐인데 예수님과 성모님 부르심에 아멘으로 응답하고 성령 아기 위해서 여러분 앞에 이렇게 앉아 있습니다. I am really an unworthy one, just a shameful sinner indeed, not the one who can sit here before you like this but in response with an Amen to the call of the Lord and Blessed Mother, and to obey them, I am here sitting before you. Dear ones, no matter which position someone is assigned to, we should not envy that person. Jesus has called us and granted us grace and love equally. He has assigned work to each one of us in accordance to our individual gifts and or talents. God is one and we are his body. Each of us has one body, right? We all have one head and a pair of eyes. <laughs> Please look at those next to you. Please see if there is anyone who has three eyes. If so, then that person is considered disabled. And if we have one nose, those who have two noses are the disabled. Those who have one nostril are also the disabled. 
있습니다 치아 도다 있어요 그렇죠? 근데 조금 이쁘게 생기고 안 이쁘게 생기고 그 차이만 있습니다 사람이 살다 보면 미워질 수도 있고 또 늙어가면 얼굴이 좀더 주름도 지고 미워질 수 있잖아요 Now try to look at others We all have one mouth and teeth, right? There's only differences in the beauty amongst us. In our lives, we may experience changes and our face may develop wrinkles as we age. But don't be afraid of that. It's not possible to see the years. It's possible to see the years. It's possible to But please do not be too disappointed at such things. The passage of time is something inevitable. Let us offer this up because there is no perfect satisfaction in this life. My acquaintances underwent cosmetic surgery, but later, her breasts ended up severely decay, even causing her gallbladder to be almost melted. And she was close to death. Perhaps she sought attention from others through that surgery. We should focus on seeking favor with God. What will be the use of seeking others' approval? Dear all, everything in the way we are. We only need to offer our love to the Lord. Amen. If our love is sincere, the Lord will take care of the rest for us. Probably in 1992, a pilgrim named Paul came here from Suwon. I don't know if he's here tonight. When leaving Naju, he took a book containing Our Lady's messages with a photo of her weeping tears of blood on its cover. He had an elder friend from the Protestant church. When he arrived home on Sunday, after the vigil in Naju, the elder visited him. The elder gave him a long speech after seeing the Blessed Mother's weeping tears of blood, suggesting that he should go to the Protestant church instead of the Catholic church. Since he was a good speaker as an elder in the Protestant church, Paul was not a match for him in speaking scriptures. So he gave that book to the elder saying, You just read this. The Protestant elder brought it home because he thought, Nothing venture, nothing gain. So he took it home, read it a little bit, and he placed it at his bedside that evening. His wife was the daughter of the Protestant pastor. She, who did not even like the Blessed Mother statue, found the Blessed Mother weeping tears of blood on its cover. She picked it up to tear it down, asking, Why is this here? The Protestant elder told her, Nothing venture, nothing gain, just leave it there. So he put it at his bedside and while sleeping, he had a dream. What on earth? In his dream, 
the Blessed Mother appeared to him and looked at him without any words and went away. The elder said, Huh, what happened? And he could have said, Damn it, Mary, as he was a Protestant. But he followed the Blessed Mother. <laughs> She went into the river, and so he followed her there as well. Suddenly, the river changed into bloody water. So he asked her, Why is all the water stained with blood? She answered, These are the tears of blood I shed because of you. He asked again, Why is it because of me? Then she replied, Because you rejected me. Did you not? The elder was a very good man. There were a lot of prostitutes in the past, though I do not know how many of them are there now. When I was running a beauty parlor, many prostitutes would come to my beauty parlor. Once they entered the whorehouse, they could not get out of it because they had owed a huge debt against their will. But the elder paid off all the debts of one prostitute and even made her a preacher. Therefore, he thought he had led a very good life and asked, How come you shed tears of blood because of me? Then the Blessed Mother answered, You rejected me, did you not? Protestant usually reject the Blessed Mother. Many of our Catholic faithful also reject the Blessed Mother. The same can be said that some of those who came to the Naju Shrine may have rejected her. Dear all, let us make a new start today. Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 to 23 says, The lamp of the body is the eye, right? Our eyes are not only the lamps of our minds, but also the lamps of our bodies, because we cannot walk without sight from the eyes. If our eyes see darkness, what will happen to us? If our eyes and the minds are in darkness, we will see the whole world in darkness, right? Therefore, let us completely open our eyes spiritually today and even physically. From now on, when we see everything, let us view them positively, not negatively. Jesus and the Blessed Mother have taught us the five spiritualities. They have specially called and nurtured us. To bring us to heaven, they have taken us aboard Mary's Ark of Salvation and nurture us repeatedly. However, if we do not arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and do not practice them, just as we do not practice even Semchigo in trivial matters and do not accept everything as my fault, do not practice prayers of life, offering up, or do not respond with Amen. Instead, 
We blame others for everything. This is rejecting Jesus and the Blessed Mother. Is it right or wrong? If you think it is right, let us not reject the Lord and the Blessed Mother from now on. We can go to heaven if we arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and practice them in any situation. But if we do not arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and just blame others, how can we go to heaven? Entering heaven is difficult. Jesus said that it is easier for a camel to pass through the eyes of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Can a camel pass through the eyes of the needle? It is impossible, right? To enter heaven is that difficult. However, we can go to heaven easily through the five spiritualities. Jesus and the Blessed Mother have prepared a shortcut to heaven for us. But if we do not practice it and instead hate others, quarrel with each other, and be jealous and envious every day, the hearts of Jesus and the Blessed Mother will be torn apart into pieces. Jesus and the Blessed Mother have specially called and nurtured us to arm ourselves with the five spiritualities. But if we get angry over trivial matters, hate others, and quarrel with each other, how heartbroken they will be. Their hearts will be torn into pieces, won't they? Yes, for those responding with yes, you know this well, and I trust that you will practice them diligently. Let us put them into practice now and always. In the past, Sister Wang, whose age was over 90 back then, came to Naju frequently when she was in Noen Parish. As a mother superior, she lived together with a younger sister alone and they kept quarreling. They could not understand each other, even in trivial matters. Their quarrels were so frequent that both of them even wrote petition to their mother house. Both the youngest sister and the senior one wrote the same content. As we cannot possibly stay together, please send me or my sister to another place. One day, the mother superior came to Naju, and I was sharing many things about Samchigo on that day. Listening to my talk, she realized, ah, even a lay person can live like that. Then how have I lived so far as a religious? She cried a lot while repenting and returned home saying, Sister, I really did wrong. My baby. She called her sister. And even baby. They hugged each other and cried a lot. 
그렇게 배려하지 못했고 그렇게 정말 부드럽게 하지 못했고 위에서 불림했고 그런 것들이 다 이제 보인 거예요 그래서 가가지고 그걸 다 용서를 청하고 손을 남고 펑펑 울었습니다 The mother superior said Please forgive me and realize then that she has not been considerate, gentle and had been dominating the younger sisters so far so she asked for forgiveness in all and cried a lot while hugging the younger sister 그러니까 이 젊은 수녀님이 얼마나 놀래가지고 어머니, 어머니라고 해서 어머니 제가 잘못했습니다 저도 어린 것이 당돌하게 수녀님한테 대들고 그렇게 잘못했습니다 용서해 주세요 The younger sister was so surprised and called the mother superior mother. Mother, it was all my fault. This young one challenged you boldly and trespassed against you. Please forgive me. The two of them called each other, mother and my daughter, and cried a lot. They built a relationship like a real mother and a real daughter and led their pastoral lives well. If we denied our ego, we can do it. Even though we trample our ego again and again, it wriggles up again. So our ego should die. Let us completely end our ego today. If we just step on it, it will wriggle up again. And if we cut it down, it can sprout again. So let us pull it out by the roots. This also applies to our pride. If we are in a high position, we should become servants for those in a low position. But the world is not like that, is it? People in high position often dominate others. But we should never do that, never ever. When I was on my way back home, after visiting my in-laws in Guangzhou, I met a volunteer. She was carrying the bundles with difficulty, one on her head and the others in her hands. Julia, I have just returned from Busan City, where I cured many patients myself, she boasted. Those who were healed gave me these things. I was dumbfounded. While I was returning to Naju by bus, I kept weeping tears. Most volunteers behave like that. But volunteers should do the roles of untying people's shoes and washing their feet as servants. People cannot receive grace through the dominating volunteers. When we die to our ego and volunteers with love as a true servants, the people whom we serve will be healed spiritually and physically and will be sanctified. But if we serve with a proud mind, they would not be able to change. That is why we should be humble and become lower. When Jesus came to this world, he did not come to dominate people, but he came as a servant. He washed the feet of his disciples as a servant. We should be humble like him. 
구타로 3개월 아기 유산까지 됐어도 봉쇄했습니다. when I was three months pregnant, I was brutally assaulted by a young man at Yangam Terminal, and I lost my baby. However, I forgave him. This incident occurred before I was baptized. Seven years later, I was baptized. <laughs> 하셨기 때문에 전한 것입니다. I'm not boasting about myself, but I share this with you because the Lord asked me to make my family and life known to others. 그래서 그냥 무조건 사랑을 실천합시다, 용서합시다 하면 못 알아들으니까 이렇게 약간 일을 하도록 해주셨어요. If I were to only say, let us practice love, let us forgive, you might not fully understand. So the Lord allowed me to go through these hardships first for you. 생각해보세요. 병원에서 4개월 된 아이를 바로 유도분만 나나고 동부라고 이렇게 막두 시간 동안 그렇게 해가지고 강제 낙태를 했어요. Just imagine, even if the fetus died in the womb during its fourth month, induced labor is required. But in my case, the doctor forced me to undergo an abortion for two hours to earn money. 근데 13일 만에 태가 나왔습니다. 어떻게 됐겠어요? 그동안 내가 다 죽어갔죠. 그랬는데 그렇게 해서도 그 사람들 다 용서했어요. 저는 의료 사고가 엄청 많았습니다. 단한 번도 그 사람들의 과실이라고 찾아가 본 적도 없어요. Thirteen days later, the placenta finally came out of me. During that period, I was dying. Nevertheless, I forgave those medical staff. Despite experiencing numerous medical malpractices, I have never visited the medical staff to hold them accountable for their mistakes. 어려서 칼을 모를 때 나의 운명인가 보다 살아가도 생치고 항상 그렇게 살았거든요. 그러면서 그 사람들 원망 한번 해보지 않았습니다. Even when I did not know God in my childhood, whatever hardship I faced, I always lived with Semchigo as if I was loved, thinking, yes, this might be my destiny. I have never blamed others for my hardships. 제가 그 청년을 용서하지 않고 벌을 줬다면 제게 돌아올 유익이 무엇이 있습니까? 설사 혼의 배상을 받는다 하면 그것 가지고 얼마나 쓸수 있겠습니까? 제가 그 청년을 용서 못 한다면 그 청년 좋아지겠어요? 아니잖아요. If I had not forgiven the young man who assaulted me and put him through punishment instead, what benefit would have come to me? Even if I had received compensation from him, how much freely would I use that money? Would the young man become a better person if I did not forgive him? Of course not. 우리가 용서 못할 사람이 누구 있습니까? 저는 옛날에 5대 영성도 몰랐고 뭐 한입 하자도 들어본 적도 없고 제가 큰 사람으로 태어났다 해갖고 절에다 팔고 막 그랬어요. 그랬는데 그렇게 했어도 용서하기가 그 사람이 그 사람 되고 정말 행복해지더라고요. Then would there be anyone who we cannot forgive? Back in those days, I had no idea about the five spiritualities, nor did I know God at all. Someone said that I was born to be a great person and sold me to a Buddhism temple. Yet, I forgave that person and found later that person has become good and happy. Before the Blessed Mother wept tears, one day, Julio parked his motorbike outside my hair parlor, and it was stolen. On the next day, we received a phone call from the police station in Songjongri saying that they found our motorbike stolen by two teens, who then had been caught there since the previous night. We went to the police station and I thought, oh, they must be very hungry. So I bought some bread and milk to give to the teens. However, they did not accept these. I asked them, oh, are you not hungry? Don't you want to eat? Yes, they replied and did like this. The policeman said, 
we put handcuffs on them. The teens were sitting on a wooden bench with their handcuffed hands behind. I forgave them. Since the teens had tried to sell it by hot wiring without the ignition key, we would have to spend to fix it. However, I asked the policeman to forgive the teens, saying, I will cover the expenses ourselves. Then they did like this, signaling that they thought I was insane. Does it matter to treat like this? Dear ones, do not feel ashamed at all. We need only to follow the Lord's will. I felt so happy, even though they thought, is she really insane? I embraced the teens and asked the policemen to remove their handcuffs. Then I forgave and embraced them, saying, Let us not do such thing again and live a new life. Through Semchigo, I could consider them as my own sons, since I myself also raised my children and I embraced them. After the Blessed Mother wept tears, a lady visited my house and said, No wonder that the Blessed Mother chose this place to show her tears. I was wondering who said this and found out that she was the mother of the teens. She was expressing her gratefulness, saying, After your forgiveness, my son stopped his wrongdoings, and now he is working diligently in a factory in Seoul and goes to Catholic Church. His family was also non-believers, but became Catholic. Even if we just say to people, let's go to church, let us believe in God, it may not be effective in inspiring them. However, if we genuinely forgive each other with love, people will be naturally drawn to follow our example. Like the guy at the bus terminal. Those whom we do not know, we can still forgive. However, in our family or within the community, would it be right if we harbor hatred with an unforgiving hearts and are jealous of one another? It is not right. Thus, let us make a new start. I never worry about the outcome. Do not worry about the outcome, dear ones. We should have complete faith and trust. When I live in Yangam, my friend visited me, bringing some food and said, Hey, do you want to give things to your mother-in-law that much? I replied, Of course, I want to give her everything I have. She said, Others complain about not being able to bring even a little more from their mothers-in-law. But you are born like that. It is your nature. You may even shake all the dust off you and give it to your mother-in-law. Because 
Young people these days can never imagine the old days when I lived. Back then, landlords usually did not allow the tenants to turn on the lights late at night. People were poor to that extent. They would turn on the tap water only while cooking, but turn it off at other times. Even though I said, I will pay more for the water rate, they would still turn it off. I had lived in such places. Even at night, I had to work to support my brothers-in-law's expenses for education. I had to nail a blanket on the door to block the light from shining through so that I could work at night. I cook rice only once a day in the morning and divide it into three meals, allowing me to work more. Then my mother bought me an electric rice cooker. It was very expensive at the time since it was first introduced to the market. There were only a few people who used it at that time. I could not use anything unless my mother-in-law had it. I even brought a mortar for pounding garlic for my mother-in-law, which my mother bought for me. And even though my mother bought me a beautiful dish, if my mother-in-law did not have it, I would give it to her. But when I visited her, she already gave them away to other daughters-in-law. I just did not mind whatever she will do with it because I already gave it to her. If I were to think in a human way, I could have felt bad. However, with Semchigo, as if my mother-in-law used it and as if I was loved, I did not mind because I had already given it to her. I have been loved a lot in that way. However, if we complain, how come is she like that? It is a loss for ourselves only. Dear ones, let us never do what will be lost for ourselves only. Let us arm ourselves with love only. I did so even before I knew God. But you know God, and you are living in the love of the Lord and the Blessed Mother. So we need only to make up our minds at least a little bit. All we have to do is have the resolve to do so. <laughs> There was a woman whose husband had an affair. How detestable she must have felt towards him. She did not cook for her husband, even though he wanted to be served food by her when he came home. In those days, kitchens were made with an earthen floor. Even when her husband took her to the kitchen, she slept there instead of cooking for him. She pretended to be sleeping because she hated her husband. Oh, how come I met such a disgusting man? He is my enemy. In the past, people did not resort to divorce easily unlike these days. She was no exception. She made the food with anger, crying inwardly, what an enemy, and gave it to him saying, eat it. Then her husband and even their children eat the food of anger and will be covered by anger. 
근데 남편이 바람피더라도 여보 내가 정말 부족해서 당신이 바람피운 것은 내 탓이요 정말 고생이 많네요 다리 좀 주물러주고 좀 마사지도 해주고 머리도 관계해주고 먹을 거좀 시켜주고 더우리는 따스물로 좀 닦아주고 나 때문에 당신이 정말 고생이 많네요 한 여자 거느리도 힘든데 두 여자 거느리라고 얼마나 힘드시냐고 Even if your husband has an affair you can say Honey, because I'm unworthy, you had an affair, so it is my fault. You are going through a lot. You can massage his legs, wash his hair, bathe him, and wipe him with warm water in winter, saying, Because of me, you are going through a lot. Even taking care of one woman is hard enough, so how hard will it be to take care of two women? <laughs> Then your husband may say, Hey, are you crazy? But deep down inside, he would not feel like that. If you keep doing so, he will feel sorry for you and may stop having an affair. Who will be happy when their spouse has an affair? Will you? No, right? Nobody will be happy when their spouse has an affair. 바람 피워도 그렇게 눈물 보이지 않고 미안해요. 내가 얼마나 정말 못나고 당신 마음에 안 들면 당신이 바람 피우고 있어요. 이 모든 것도 제 탓입니다. 내 탓의 영상을 가지고 우리는 할수 있잖아요. Even if your spouse has an affair, if you say without showing your tears, I am sorry how ugly and unsatisfying I am to the point where you had an affair. These are all my fault. We can do so with the spirituality of my fault. 얘를 들어서 저는 이야기하는 거예요. 다 응용하세요. 네. 내가 이렇게 부족하니까 다내 탓이라고. 나한테 뭐가 또 사랑 그 여자한테라도 좀 받으라고. 남자는 또 여자한테 그러고 그러기가 힘들어. 쉬운 건 아닌 줄 알아요. 근데 그런 식으로 살자고요. This is just an example, and you can apply it to your own situations. We can say it's all my fault because I'm unworthy. May you receive the love you could not receive from me, from that lady? In reverse, husband can also say this to their wives, having an affair. Admittedly, it would be difficult to do so, and I know it would not be easy, but let us strive to live that way. You may feel hatred when your spouse cheat on you, right? However, if you offer it up to the Lord, you will feel compassion for your spouse. Compassion is different from hatred. If you start feeling compassion for your spouse, you could be kind to him or her. We should feel compassion for others, how pitiful their souls are. 예수님 정말 저도 불쌍합니다. 근데 바람 피우는 남편 얼마나 불쌍합니까? 예수님 불쌍히 여겨 주시고 바람 길로 인도해 주세요. 그래서 바로 바람 피운 것은 음란죄를 저지르고 있기 때문에 그 음란죄에서 빠져나오게 해주세요. You can pray, Jesus, I am also a pitiful soul, but how pitiful my husband who is having an affair. Jesus, please have mercy on him and guide him to the right path. Having an affair means committing sins of obscenity. So please let him get out of the sins of obscenity. While cooking, you can also pray, I am unworthy, Jesus. Please make this food with your love so that our entire family may partake of love and be healed spiritually and physically. What is the tastiest seasoning? The seasoning of love. If we add too much sesame oil the food will be too oily and excessive ground sesame makes the food harsh. 
Red pepper's powder is also a good seasoning, but if we add too much, the food will be too hot to eat. Soy sauce and salt are also essential seasoning, but it will be too salty if we add too much, right? 정말 쳐도 쳐도 맛이 양념이 바로 사랑의 양념입니다. 사랑의 양념이 듬뿍 든 음식을 가족들에게 먹이면 사랑으로 거듭나게 될 수밖에 없습니다. 그래서 우리 새로 시작해요. 우리 할수 있습니다. The tasty seasoning, no matter how many times you add, is a seasoning of love. If we serve food full of the seasoning of love to our family, they cannot help but be regenerated with love. Let us start anew. We can do it. If we remain awake, arming ourselves with the five spiritualities, we can wipe away the bloody sweat and tears of blood of Jesus and the Blessed Mother. We will also pull out the nails that we have driven into them through our faults so far and amend their hearts which are torn into pieces. So let us arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and practice them, that we may become tailors of love to sew up Jesus' torn sacred heart, pliers of love to pull out the nails that we have driven into Jesus, and handkerchiefs of love to wipe away the bloody sweat and tears of blood shed by Jesus and the Blessed Mother. Amen. From now on, so that we may experience boundless joy, love, and peace for the rest of our lives, let us completely offer ourselves up to the Lord and live with some chigo. Dear ones, do you feel too hot right now? Amen. Since you accept it with Samchi Go as if you feel cool, you feel cool. Jesus and the Blessed Mother come to us, desiring to be with us every moment of every day. However, because we have not opened our hearts to them and did not prepare a place for Jesus in our hearts, they cannot enter into us. So today, let us empty our hearts completely, inviting Jesus to come in. Amen. If we harbor a lot of bad friends in our hearts, Jesus and the Blessed Mother cannot enter into us. Who are the worst friends? Pride, ego, envy, and jealousy are all detrimental. Among them, ego is particularly most harmful. Pride is also bad. But it is hard to find anyone who does not experience envy and jealousy, although the intensity may differ. So dear ones, do not be disappointed thinking, why do I feel envy and jealousy like this? Instead, yes, let me defeat completely the devils of envy and jealousy. Let me defeat pride. There is no one who has no pride.
As I told you earlier, we have two eyes, and two eyebrows despise the different shapes. In any case, let us not hate others, but let us offer up everything with more love and with samjigo. People are diverse in characters. Some may have explosive temper due to many early life hurts, even from their time in the womb. So do not think, why is that person characters like that? But please pray more for such people. Gentle people may have been hurt less, even though they experience hurt or been loved a lot by their parents. Their saying goes, Only those who were loved can love others. I wonder, hmm, it is strange. Even though I have not experienced much love from others, I still love them. Another saying is, those who were hurt a lot tend to hurt others. So I said, although I have been hurt a lot, I have not hurt others. Then someone said, it is because you were specially chosen and prepared by Jesus. I used to think that I excel in everything since I was young. But I came to realize that all these were brought about by Jesus and the Blessed Mother. Dear all, when we follow the Lord and the Blessed Mother, we may encounter various hardships. Nevertheless, let us remember that because Jesus and the Blessed Mother loves us, devils may afflict us more. Hence, let us offer them up graciously with Semchigo as if we were loved. Let us arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and practice them. Thank you. Let us meditate on the messages of love from Jesus and the Blessed Mother. Let us listen to the messages as if they were given to us today from Jesus and the Blessed Mother. Please never think that this is the message given to Julia Kim. If you read the books, The Way of Love for the Lord, The Fragrance of the Lord, The Five Spiritualities, or The Life Prepared by the Lord, Please accept any of Jesus' messages contained within them as if they were given to you personally. This is the message of love from Jesus on April 12, 1998. <laughs> All my beloved children in the world, the tears that you shed now will be completely wiped away before the throne in heaven, where there is no thirst or hunger. You will be given a hundredfold reward. Happiness will be yours. Would it not be? Amen. Do not fear, but hurriedly perpetuate the Paschal mystery of resurrection. I will help you. Amen. 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 This is the message of love from the Blessed Mother on August 5, 2006. 
작은 영혼을 통한 나의 꿈에 아멘으로 응답한 사랑하는 세상의 모든 자녀들아. All my beloved children in the world who have responded with Amen to my call through the little soul. 불림받은 너희들만이라도 안일하게 생각하지 말고 깨어서 기도하며 세상을 구하는데 정적으로 합력해다오. At least you who have been called should not think complacently but remain awake. Pray and do your best incorporating in the work of saving the world. Then, on the last day, you will be given the power and privilege of eating the fruits from the tree of eternal life in heaven. Stand at my side. Be escorted by the angels and sing, Alleluia. Therefore, do not have any fear, but go forward valiantly. Amen. 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 I wish that the messages of love from Jesus and the Blessed Mother be fulfilled in all of you as proclaimed. Amen. 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 우리 자신을 온전히 주님과 성모님께 맡겨드립시다. Let us lay our hands on our chest and entrust ourselves totally to the Lord and the Blessed Mother. 내가 지금 누구를 용서하지 못했고 누구를 사랑하지 못했고 누구와 하해를 못했는지 그 사람들을 다 데리고 나옵시다. Let us recall those whom we could not forgive, whom we could not love, and whom we could not reconcile with and bring them all before the Lord. 이 세상 물질 문명 고대로 발달됐지만 내적인 상태는 완전히 황폐돼 가고 있습니다. 부모가 자식을 죽이고 자식이 부모를 죽이고 남편이 아내를 죽이고 아내가 남편을 죽이고 친구가 친구를 죽이고 하나 수많은 살인들이 일어나고 있는지 모릅니다. Despite the advanced development of material civilization in this world, humanity's inner state is being devastated completely. Parents kill their own children and vice versa. Husbands kill their wives and the reverse is also true. Friends kill each other. How countless murders are being committed. The world has been decaying. Even the children who claim here and there that they make the Lord's known are not being sanctified properly. Moreover, the prelates are not sanctified and are leading their sheep astray. Consequently, many souls are heading towards hell. However, the Lord and the Blessed Mother, who appeared and are present in Naju, have shown us countless signs and grant us innumerable graces with their most sublime and purest love. The amazing miracles of love, such as the dead come back to life, the dying surviving, the blind seeing, the cripples being raised, the deformed arms being healed, the deaf hearing, and the mute speaking. Healings have continued countless times to this day, not only during those times when Jesus started his mission on earth, but also in this day and age in Naju by his presence. Jesus, we humbly beseech you to gently touch and heal each and every one of these children without a single exception. 
From the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet, please perform surgery on every cell with the Holy Spirit. Please stretch your powerful and almighty hands that you only can have. Bless them and perform surgery on their every ailing parts. The doctors perform surgery using knives, but there are many things that they cannot do. However, there is nothing that Jesus cannot operate on. Jesus, please operate with the Holy Spirit, not only on these children here, but also their families back home. Please gently touch the ailing parts of your body. Jesus, you have performed many miracles. You made the blind and even illiterate individual read books. A lady, unable to read book of the messages of love due to her husband's objection, fervently asked Jesus to allow her to read it even inside her blanket saying, Jesus, I truly want to read the messages. Could you let me read it? Miraculously, she was able to read the messages. Even the illiterate pray, I could not learn letters, but I would like to read messages of love. Please enable me to read it. And miraculously, he was able to read it. Is there anything you cannot do? Just as you open Eli Saison's eyes, please open all our spiritual and physical eyes today. Spiritual cancer is more serious than physical cancer. Please completely heal the lumps of our spiritual cancer today. May all of us perfectly arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and practice them. Help us turn every moment of our daily lives into prayers and accept everything as my fault, not your fault. Guide us to respond with Amen and to offer up completely, rather than just being patient or enduring. By doing this, may we fill the abyss that lies between Jesus' greatness and our nothingness. Grant us the grace. <laughs> Thus, let everything bring glory to the Lord and comfort to the Blessed Mother, and may our gratitude never dry up.
도룩하게 돌아가세 망동고난 마귀들이 제 아무리 괴롭혀도 